Hey, it's Bill Riley here and more of our staff insider kind of get to know you interviews. Our director of player personnel with us here this afternoon, Tramel Barnes. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? You, I'm, I'm great. You've been here about a year now. It's been a year. How was your first right year in Utah? Top. It was great. It was great. You know, I was up in Logan for a year, so I can't say it's my first true year right. in Utah, but Salt Lake's awesome. The U's awesome, so it's been a really good, easy transition. Expectations when you got here a year ago yep. versus where you guys are now? Uh, you know, I think expectations are always going to be high um, at the end of the day. Like, that's kind of how coach just is driven and we're driven as a program. Um, you know, for Salt Lake, it's been an awesome city to live in. My girlfriend and I have a lot of fun, um, enjoy, you know, we don't do a ton of hiking. It's not a ton of time like that way, but um, we enjoy being out and about a little bit and having places to go for dinner and stuff like that. So it's been good. Walk me through getting here because Craig takes the job, but there's never a guarantee yeah. you're going to bring your whole staff with you. Maybe yeah. you'll bring a few guys. He brought some of you guys with him, but how was that process? And did he approach you? Did you approach him? How did that work? Yeah, I think I just kind of had reached out congratulating him and we had kind of chat. We always kept in touch. You know, obviously I worked for a coach at Utah State for that year. So um, when he got the job, I just called him, congratulated him and things kind of led from there. And um, obviously I was at South Dakota State, really good school, loved it there. Um, but it was just an, a great opportunity here with coach and had known coach for a while. So it just, it worked out perfect. So explain to people what your job is. It's a great title, yeah. and I think people think, okay, coaches, everybody's on the bench, everybody's yep. doing that. It's a coaching role, but it's just everybody's got a little bit different kind of role to it. So exactly what do you do? Yeah. What's the day-to-day? -day? Yeah, it's a, honestly, it's kind of a hodgepodge of everything. Um, I get to do a lot of basketball stuff, which I love, obviously I have a huge passion for, but also um, help out Kern Walsh, our director of ops, with a lot of behind the scenes stuff too. So some more logical stuff. Um, with Coach Peterson left, taking a leave and going to USD, I've kind of taken over scheduling. Um, so I help with scheduling, um, help with scouts, uh, different sorts of, so kind of a hodgepodge of things. How's the scheduling? Because that was kind of Petey's deal. Yeah, he'd, he'd done it for a while yeah. with Craig at different stops. So I'm assuming you're working pretty close with Craig on that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Craig, coach is always involved in everything. And honestly, Petey knocked out a lot of it already. So um, it was pretty easy. We only had like two or three games left to fill. So. Um, but it's just always, you know, continuing to work for next year's schedule. It's always kind of just evolving and going. Is there, is, what's the biggest challenge with it? Um, usually just finding the dates. Yeah. The dates are tough. And then just obviously the Pac-12 has certain guidelines and rules that we have to stay in, um, abide by. So just kind of stand below that with the five-year net and all that stuff and different things like that. So I'd say that's probably the most tough, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's good. You just got to communicate with a bunch of different coaches stay on the phone and then try to get a date and then get contract signed. So, And that's the that, big deal. Yeah, that can be a little tricky Getting too. the contract <laughs> signed. So the roster is going to look a little bit different this year. Yep. You brought in a bunch of new guys, some new faces, yep. which is not unusual, especially in today's college basketball. Get, give me your read on, on this year's roster and as it's kind of coming together. I know it's not finished yet. There's yep. still possibilities, but what you guys have done and what some of the goals were in putting this particular roster together. Yeah, you know, honestly, it's nice. Like last year we came and it was a fresh, everyone was new. You know what I mean? So we had all new guys. It was our first year, so we were new. Um, we're excited. I think the biggest thing this year is we've got a good core of guys back uh, with Marco, BC, I mean, on and on and on as far as that. And then we've decided we were able to add some good pieces too. So it's good with Mike Saunders coming, Ben Carlson. Um, we got some freshmen that were really, Cabo, a bunch of guys that we're really excited about. So it'll be fun to kind of get back here. That's June 10th is when we're starting up, or they'll be back on campus. The 13th, I guess, is when we're starting up. So um, it'll be really fun to see the new fresh faces uh, compete and get out on the court. Yeah, this those. gym is going to be noisy here yeah. very, very soon again. Last thing, Tramel, what, what has you most excited about the upcoming season? Honestly, just the guys we work with, our staff. You know, Adam Burge has been big. He's an awesome guy, an amazing person. Um, and then obviously just our new guys and our core guys like back that we think we have. So um, that's kind of the most important thing I would say. And we're all excited just to continue to get to work with those guys. And um, you know, obviously last year was a little up and down. We battled a lot of injuries and a lot of weird things, but um, just looking for a fresh start this year and our guys are ready to compete and um, prove some people wrong. There we go, Tramel Barnes with us here. You'll see him on the sideline. You'll see him helping out on the court from time to time too and uh, part of our staff insider series here with Utah basketball.